Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Got an older Intel Mac? Say, a pre-2017 MacBook or iMac, and thinking about wiping it clean? Maybe you're passing it on, selling it, or just want that fresh out of the box feel again. If you're nodding yes, but feeling a bit lost, you're in the right place. Resetting these classic Macs isn't as fancy as the new ones, but it's totally doable. I'll walk you through every step. Let's get that old Mac ready for its next life. First things first, why would you even want to reset your Mac? Well, it wipes everything, apps, files, settings, and brings it back to that just out of the box state. It's a clean slate. Maybe you're handing it off to someone else, or maybe it's been acting sluggish and you've tried everything else. Whatever the reason, preparation is key. Before you do anything, back up your stuff. I cannot stress this enough. Photos, documents, that random folder of memes, save it all. Use an external drive or time machine if you've got it set up. Or save them on your cloud storage, like Google Drive, Dropbox, and other online services that you can choose from. We need to sign out of iCloud on your Mac. Start by clicking the Apple menu in the upper left corner of the screen, then select System Preferences and click on Apple ID. From there, choose Overview in the left-hand menu and hit Sign Out. If you're asked about keeping any data on the Mac, I recommend saying no since we're planning to wipe the hard drive anyway. And if you're backing everything up to iCloud, you don't need to stress about it. After that, you'll need to sign out of iMessage separately, because oddly enough, it stays logged in even after you've removed iCloud from your computer. So open iMessage, head to Preferences, click the iMessage tab, and then choose Sign Out. Now the big move, wiping the drive. Click the Apple menu again, pick Restart, and here's where you need sharp timing. The second the screen goes dark and you hear that chime, hold down Command R. Keep them pressed about 10 seconds until you see the Mac OS Utilities screen. It's like your Mac's secret reset hub and it looks different from the usual desktop. In that Utilities window, click Disk Utility and hit Continue. On the left, find Macintosh HD, but in my case it was named Monterey SSD. That's your main drive. Select it, then click Erase up top. For the format, pick APFS. If you have older Mac OS version, then you can select the Mac OS Extended, Journaled. It's the go-to for these older Macs. APFS didn't exist back then, so don't worry about that. Name it Macintosh HD or whatever you like, then hit Erase. If you see extra volumes, like Data, click the minus button to remove them. Once it's done, close Disk Utility by clicking the red dot or quitting from the menu. Back at the Utilities screen, by the way you need to be connected on the internet, now it's time to reinstall Mac OS. Click Reinstall Mac OS. It'll say whatever version your Mac shipped with, like El Capitan or Sierra, and hit Continue. Follow the prompts. It'll ask you to pick Macintosh HD as the destination, then start downloading. This part depends on your internet speed, so maybe refill your coffee. My old Mac took about 30 minutes, but it could stretch longer. Your Mac might restart a few times. Don't panic, it's normal. When you see the welcome screen, you're golden. It's factory fresh. Once you get into this screen, if you are selling, giving away, or trading in your Mac, you can stop the process now. To turn off your Mac, press and hold the power button until it shuts down. If you're keeping it, set it up like new and go all through the setting up your Mac like for the first time. That's it. Your Intel Mac's wiped and reborn. Feels good, doesn't it? Your pre-2017 Intel Mac is reset and ready to roll. Give it a try, dust off that old MacBook, and let me know how it went. Drop a comment. Did the reinstall take forever, or was it smooth sailing? If this saved you time, or spared you a tech headache, hit that like button. It helps others find the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.